Short bursts and heavy breathing. It's what sprinting is all about. Everything is short and fast. Many think that to sprint is not very hard to accomplish, but in real life, it really is. I choose to be a member of the distance course community because everything about it draws me into it. The way runners communicate while they're running, the rush I get when I start, like I get in the starting line. The way runners communicate and the rush of adrenaline that I get when I start a race. There's always a goal to reach and most importantly, there's always someone to catch. And that's the biggest part of it. Every runner has their own personal goals to strive for. Like I myself have certain ones that no one can relate. But a common goal that we all have is to be able to beat the person next to you. That's the most important thing. It makes you work for something, makes you a better runner overall. No matter what race that is, the goal for everyone is basically the same one in a race. Running slash sprinting is a self-improvement sport. Reaching these goals for me personally helps me physically, obviously, but also my confidence. I feel like running can like help me at, like grow as a person and be more confident. And also, like physically, it keeps me healthy. In track and field in general, there are all kinds of different communications used amongst the runners. Coach and I use face-to-face -face communication. Also, we use demonstrations to help each other improve our forms of running. Actions are important to understand why we're doing certain things. Another form of communication is the one runners use with each other, running, which is facial communication. As we're running, we look at each other and we kind of know what we're supposed to be doing and how to improve. Um, PR is one of the lexuses that you always hear at competitions at meets. PR is like, hey, what's your PR? What's your PR? PR means your personal ranking. It's basically what your best time is for certain events. Baton is another one that we use. Maybe some people don't know. It's what we use when we run relays. Build up, it's a really important one that our coaches use in practice. It means that you have to build up into your best, your top speed. You're building up to it, you start. As you're in the middle of the race is when you're building up to your best speed, like the fastest speed you have. Um, these are just some of the words and phrases that we use in practice, maybe in competition. I'll show you a quick example of our coach using one of these phrases as we practice. Yeah. Okay, as runners, we use different kinds of genres. Meal plans is one of them. Our meal plan are similar to any other athlete, but you know, basically built up of proteins, electrolytes, lactose, carbohydrates, vitamins, and vegetables, which I hate vegetables. The user resources is another one of the genres that we use. By that, by that I mean that we search up for like certain like techniques that we want to work on or improve upon and they help us in our workouts or our meat, it, depending on where it is. Okay. To become a member of this discourse community, the only thing you need to do is have a will to run. To get to, to, get to the level that I am, and by that I mean the level of where you're very competitive and it matters to you where you come and what your time is. You have to be very committed. Personally, my coach, one of the most important things for him is to show that you want to be there and that you want to work hard and improve upon what you have. Sprinting is a sport that requires a lot of attention to details and everything you do at practices and what you eat is very important too. Okay. My community consists of my high school at the moment but soon it will be my community where the university is because I'm going to be attending their team. But this community can take place basically anywhere where you have a group of people and are motivated to start running and make it uh, something that they want to do. Yeah. Most sprinters have similar bodies, but that does not mean that anyone can do it. Look at me. I don't have that go-to look for sprinters. I don't have a lot of muscles on my leg. A lot of runners that are sprinters have very like big visible muscles that i personally don't have but basically anybody can be a member as long as you're willing to put the work in i'm telling you that's the most important thing
yeah. yeah. To conclude this, my discourse community is very diverse. Anybody can really join. It doesn't matter what size or color, anything you you are, you can you can join my discourse community. And my discourse community is very athletic, so obviously you would you have to be willing to be athletic. And there's many parts to it, as you can see. There's many different words that we say to each other, different practices, different drills that we learn and we have to do to become better but don't let that stop you from joining what is the difference between short distance running and long distance running long distance is usually two miles and more and sprinting is from 100 meters to 400 meters and then you have mid distance which is 800 meters or a mile that's <sighs> la play yeah Eso no puede ser por el tendido. Te cabrón. Ya para.